It's so important. I can't stop going on about it. And I do understand that for some people, it's not a choice that they just don't sleep well or they ha- their sleep gets interrupted because they've got young kids or they do shift work. So I'm not particularly talking about the people where there's a reason that you can't sleep in this way. I- I'm mostly directing it this out. If you have a choice, this is the way that you need to sleep and this is why. If you don't have a choice, there are some things that you can do to mitigate it as well. I mean, obviously I have done shift work as a junior doctor in the NHS and I travel a lot, so I'm like jet lagged half the time. But I try to do everything I can to make that as as good as possible. And the reason is we've always known that when you sleep, you lay down your memories and new learning, you process your emotions, the cells in the body regenerate themselves. We've, We've known that for a long time. That's never really been enough for these very driven CE level people to want to give up eight hours a night to sleep. You know, it's if they feel they can get by on four or five, then they'll rather do that because they've got so much to do. The ideal is eight hours and 15 minutes in population norm studies. So that doesn't mean it's for everyone, but for most people, that's the ideal. Actually sleeping more than that can be depressogenic, so it can start to lower your mood. So you don't want to really be sleeping for nine plus hours, but you ideally need to be in bed for nine hours to get that amount of sleep. And so there was some award-winning research around 2012 to 2014 when we were beginning to understand how important the cleaning of the brain is overnight. So this entirely new system that we didn't know existed, which is called the glymphatic system. It's like the lymphatic system in your body, but it's to do with glial cells. So it was named the glymphatic system. That system is a very active kind of waterway channel cleansing system of the brain. We used to think that the fluid around the brain and there's ventricles, which are like lakes, and then there's just like trickling areas that that sort of passively dripped through the brain overnight. We did not expect to see like jets of fluid flushing out toxins from the brain. So the exact things that we see in the pathology of dementing diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, like tau proteins and amyloid plaques and neurofibrillary tangles. (laughs) How do you say that in English? (laughs) (laughs) Those things are being flushed out of the brain very actively overnight. And that process takes seven to eight hours to complete the cleaning. That's why you need to be in bed for eight to nine hours. 